My name's Alone and welcome to uh, the third episode of the Dead Man series and I am right now risking my Dragon Scimitar killing these bears for a Slayer assignment. 24 left so shouldn't be all too risky. I can I don't really have much food but I can run down to Falador if I really need it. So let's get into it. Actually I didn't die so I can get another assignment now from Vanaka and hopefully I get something pretty easy but still good money. Maybe like Moss Giants or something. 12 cave slimes? Uh, not a task I would expect to get from Vanaka but I guess it's pretty easy. Guy legit has a fire cape. Second day in DM. What? I saw this guy. DFS. Arims. All that. Fury. Check his name. Of course. Oh, that's a good one. Blood Vels. I actually think they can drop rune items and that would be very good for both alking and maybe even wearing. So, perfect task. Of course, it is dangerous area to kill them here, but it is by far the least dangerous place to kill them because you can just run all the way here and outside here it's actually a guarded area, so you should be fine. Oh, so good. Look at that. Rune Medhelm already after, I think, three kills, so that is a perfect alk. I didn't even bring fire runes enough to do it, but yeah, it is 10k, so that's perfect. I can actually wear it now as well until the, into the future. I did end up alking my rune Medhelm and I just bought some dragon bones for it because I really want to get that 43 prayer. If I have it, I can finish that uh, Bloodville task without really needing to do anything but flick melee prayer. I'm 41 now, very close to 42. Actually decided to just go and kill some hill giants and uh, that is now 43 prayer and I can now prayer flick the rest of the blood belts. Actually got my first superior so early. Uh, these are the first creatures that I killed. I can actually give superiors and they have accelerated drops like hell in this uh, game mode. So I'll get back to you guys when I get the loot. Okay, let's see what we uh, will receive from this superior. Uh, Wrath runes, that is so good. Uh, you actually always get a supply drop from them, that's why it's so accelerated. And uh, wow, the, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's actually like 150k. I didn't even notice, I got 110 blood runes as well. 20k from that. 66k from the Wrath runes, 85k now. That is such a good drop. I'm only really missing a defender now to look pretty good. Uh, I do need, what is that? Uh, three levels in attack or strength combined to be able to go in there. But uh, I'm expecting also there to be a lot of P carries in there, unfortunately. So I'm a bit scared of going there. On a good way of completing the Bloodville task, pretty much halfway done and I got 70 strength now. Uh, I might start training defense soon before I get the Dragon Defender. I do actually want to have a bit higher defense before going in there than 50. I might go for 60, we will see. This will be the end of the Bloodville task when this one dies and I got another rune Medhelm and I have a lot of these prayer potions now and after this I will actually get an assignment from Neve so I will pick up the loot right now, run straight out and get another task from Neve. I am calling Iron or Steel Dragons which would mean I will have to cancel the task at Tural, but uh, let's see what we get. Maybe something good? Wait, what? I thought it was... Wait, I'm 80 combat. Oh, you need 85 maybe. Maybe that's what you need? Yeah, 85. Okay, uh, I will have to get another one from Banaka then, unfortunately. But uh, I am going to get the Dragon Defender. Oh yeah, of course. If I do the Dragon Defender, I can train defense during the time and I will be able to get a task from Neve after that, because I only need four combat levels. Because I don't want to fully rebuild again, that would be horrible at this stage. I am uh, actually going to put my Dragon Scimitar and these items that I have in the safe deposit box. So even if I do die, I have some stuff still there. I brought a, I bought a Dragon Dagger, so I do have that now instead. And it should be fine weapon to use. It was 20k. Oh god. <laughs> Look at the amount of players here. Uh, maybe PKing here is not really a thing. That took me like five kills to get the uh, bronze defender. I guess I have to go out now and talk to her so I can actually start gaining the iron one. So let's do that real quick. Do I just talk to her? Uh, maybe I have to actually use the, uh, the bronze one on her or something like that. I'll try that. If I can click it. Okay, there we go. Okay, nice. Now next one should be iron. That took a very long time, but the Iron Defender, I am going to check, that took me 50 kills to get that, so I think that's actually slightly unlucky. Wait, I actually got a supply drop from the <laughs> Mithril animated armor. 
uh, four Snapdragon potions and also red spider eggs at the same time, so I can make super restores with that. Meanwhile, you can watch me die and lose my dragon scimitar. I just want to say I do have a Discord if you want to join that. The link to that will be in the top of the description. And also, if you do enjoy these type of videos and want to see more of my content, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. I really want to get to 10k because it is very close to that mark. So uh, there we go. That is my dragon scimitar done. Rip. So the ways I'm going to be rebuilding in the future is I'm going to do the agility pyramid because every single time you complete a one lap, first off, you get pretty good agility experience actually. And uh, every time you finish it, you get 10,000 GP because each one of these pyramids is 10,000 GP. So there's actually a PK here and I'm going to claim all of these in right now. So I guess I just use them on him. Or maybe not. Uh, I guess I have to talk to him first. But yeah, what I wanted to say is uh, all these 70k cash I'm going to get from these pyramids. I'm going to send over to my mule. Get back here because I don't really have anything valuable on this account now. Except in my deposit box. There we go, 70k. And uh, I will get back here on my main and get like 4 or 5 more. So I can buy some more supplies. And I will have 70k on my mule in case I die again. There was actually a guy who died to a PKer, and I picked up some of the stuff the PKer didn't pick up. So I got some prayer potions, the green dragonite chaps, a Varrock teleport that I can actually use now that I have some of these pyramids. So I'm going to uh, hand these five in and that will be enough for my main I think. So let's go down here and uh, I really don't want to die. I actually died with four pyramids uh, earlier but it wasn't too bad hopefully that guy is not a PKer. Doesn't seem like it. So let's hand them all in. 50k and use that Varrock teleport that I picked up from the PK guy. Sweet. So before I died, I actually did manage to get all the way to a black defender. So it is going to be a bit faster now to get to the dragon defender as I already have it. By the way, if you're wondering if you die with the defender, you can just run back to your corpse and pick it up because PKers cannot pick the defenders up because they are untradeable. This time, this will be my inventory and I'm not risking a dragon scimitar again going with a rune. Beautiful, that is the rune defender on the ground. Uh, it is a valuable drop. Maybe you can actually alloc these. Maybe it's a good method when you uh, get to the dragon defender, you can maybe actually alloc it. I'm not uh, sure how much it's worth, but time to get the dragon. I looked up on the wiki and it says they're not actually alkable, even though it says 40k alkable value, but that is the dragon defender. It is uh, completed after like six kills actually of these uh, higher level uh, Cyclops, but uh, great upgrade for the account achieved. Just quickly bought a dragon scimitar now from my mule, sending it over to my main and I still have like 40k on my mule, so it's pretty good. Black demons, that's actually a very good task. It's going to take a very long time with my gear and all that and I don't have a cannon, I definitely don't have the money to buy a cannon and cannonballs. But I'm going to get uh, 70 agility, I think, to be able to kill them in the Taverly dungeon with actually having an escape as well. Actually, I got all the way to 68 agility, but then I realized, I, I mean, I already knew you could kill the black demons in the wilderness place in Edgeville dungeon, but I felt like it might have been a bit too risky. But I don't actually think it is that risky compared to the... Uh, the Taverly dungeon, as well as in the Edgefield dungeon you can actually get Archaic Emblem tier 5 because it's in the wilderness, so it's only like 5 or 6 wilderness deep, so I'm going to try that and see how it works. I am risking pretty much everything I have right now except what I have on my mule, and uh, I'm going to buy an Avas Accumulator as well. So there we have that. Also, of course, I bought the Rune Gloves. They're actually only 6.5k, and they're not much worse than Barrow's Gloves, so... Yeah, the Barrel's Gloves is like 120k or something, so yeah, it's quite a difference worth in value. Okay, uh, there is literally not a single world I can go to and kill these demons. There's only three of them, and every world has like four people, so I guess 70 agility is the way to go. Yeah, not too bad of a grind, 70 agility done, let's try and kill some black demons. And if I do get like a rune chain body drop or something like that, if it's not super early into the trip, I'm probably going to TP out and send the money to my mule. The task so far is actually going pretty good. I have 116 left, no really good drops yet. I really would love to see some rune chain bodies for some alk profits. But I just got both 63 slayer and 80 strength. I'm not sure when I should swap over to attack training. I don't think I actually have to do that until I get a whip. I can just uh, get 70 when I do get a whip eventually. And then with the whip just train attack up even more. So I will probably just keep training strength now that I'm using a dragon scimitar. 
Because this is going to be a very long task and I might get some really really long tasks after, uh, I'm going to end the video here because I would like to get a video up today. And uh, this marks the beginning pretty much for my big slayer grind. I first off want to try to get 75 as soon as possible and if you're wondering by the way my current level is 63, pretty close to, well, halfway to 64. And uh, after that I can grind gargoyles which is super good money. But uh, that will be for the next video hopefully, I will uh, hardcore grind Slayer for the next day and let's see where I end up in the uh, next video.